This thing zebra bass, boy. Dude, 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 that was a freaking like 10 pounder and a freaking two pounder on bed right there. There we go. All right, these fish are not wanting to bite. But I know exactly how to catch them. I totally forgot to have one with me. I got this little tiny Texas rig. And that's what it's going to take. I got this chatter donk on right here. And, you know, today a big cold front blew in. It's super windy. You guys can't really hear it on this pond. But super windy outside. The weather drop was, in, it was just crazy. It's a 30 degree drop from yesterday. These fish are a little finicky, but I'm actually seeing a good bit of them up shallow. I haven't seen any giants yet. But I see a lot of bass cruising and it's actually kind of hard to see them because the clouds are up right now. But I'll tell you the best way to catch them is definitely to tie on this Texas rig and flip in front of them because a couple of them have seemed pretty active and I think I can get them to bite. So I'm gonna put on a quarter ounce bullet weight with this three aught extra wide gap hook with a little speed worm on it. And we're gonna go around and just pitch and flip around a lot of these pads and just kind of keep your eyes open and watching around up shallow because I've seen so many bass and I believe that they're gonna eat this thing. Let's get it started guys, see what we can do. I don't know if you guys can see this, but all the beds that I've seen are huge. Like they're some of the biggest beds I've ever seen on a pond. And I was like thinking about it, I'm like, it almost looks like it's not even a bass bed. And I started to think deeper and deeper and deeper. And I'm like, well, you know, we are in Florida and there's a lot of tilapia and those are tilapia that have taken over those old bass beds and they've just made them just freaking huge man it's crazy how big those tilapia beds are like the thing is almost three foot deep right there which is just crazy like, you don't see bass beds like that I got one. No way. He spit it out. He spit it out. The speed worm might be the trick, guys. God. I thought that was a bite when I first threw in there. I first cast out in the middle in these pads, guys. That was a fish that was biting me. He was walking with me. I didn't stick him or anything. He should eat it. Yeah, he just slammed me. Oh, he came off. Okay, we're getting bites. That's all that matters. Sorry about the wind too. We're like kind of hidden right here, but I'm telling you, it is whipping today. It is pretty crazy. Honestly, guys, I think we're gonna freaking smoke them on the speed crawl. Or the speed speed worm. Is that a bash right there? No. <laughs> oh my god, it was. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay this fish is not big and this is why they were not eating that chatter donk i hope they're not all this size I, i've seen a lot more bigger than this okay but <laughs> to start off the video with a little bass hey man you cannot complain <laughs> that was pretty cool so that thing i saw in the water actually wasn't a fish but as i started to reel it out of the water this fish came up out of nowhere and then i just pitched it in there and he just didn't even hesitate <laughs> Little guy wants to be a big one, <laughs> but thank you for biting, buddy. There's a lot of fish in this small pond. We just got to find the big ones. That's a good sign after a cold front. I know he was super small, but just to see that some fish are swimming around and you can see that one ate it that quick. I mean, shoot, fishing has to be all right today. I'll tell you any other day, guys, I would be throwing a dang frog out here. You got all these lily pads, shallow water, grassy. If this place does not scream a frog, I don't know what place screams a frog. This, this is some frog fishing territory. The moment I pulled up here, I was like, dude, popping frog? Yeah. That's a better one. Not a big one by any means, but he's freaking... Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a tilapia. I'm going to say that fish is three times the size of this thing. Okay, he's not big, but we're catching him. We're finding something. We're finding some bass. That's all that matters. 
<laughs> nice little dude. He's bigger than the last one. He's not big, but I appreciate you, Biden, bud. We got to start somewhere, guys. We are figuring them out today, trying to see what they want. You know, us switching up to this worm was obviously a great choice, and we're getting bites now. So now we just got to hook a big one. By the way, if you guys want to check out the Kickin' Their Bass TV X Lose combos, they're only available on my website, kickintheirbass.com. I have the link in the description. Got right hand bait casters, left hand, and also spinning combos. One of the most versatile rods out there. You know, it's a seven foot medium heavy. You can throw just about anything on it. And for a lot of you guys that are bank fishing and uh, overall just pond fishing, going around and, and throwing whatever, it's a great combo for that. So. Ooh, dude, that bite was so good. These fish are so small, man, but they're just slamming it. There's so many bass in these pads out here. We are definitely probably gonna have to go find a new pond if they're gonna all be this size, but I don't mind catching a few while we're here. Wouldn't it be nice if you were pulling five pounders out of pads like that? <laughs> Something about flipping pads and flipping grass is so much fun. Like I'll just flip it on the edge of that pad and I'll kind of... Oh my gosh, I really don't think I had a bite there. I think I was just thinking I had a bite. <laughs> but you just get this thing on the edge of that pad and you just kind of bob it. And you let that little tiny tail on that worm just flutter. And dude, they can't take it. You'll just feel one hard. You'll feel one hard thump and then he's just running off with it. Oh, dude, fish just blew. He's blowing up on my line right now. Once I get my worm, yep. Oh no! I was about to say, once I get my worm right there, he's gonna slam it, and sure enough, he did. That was a bigger one. You can't tell me that wasn't a good fish. Unless it was a tilapia. There's a bass on bed right there, boys. He's actually on bed. We're gonna catch him, alright? See, that fish was not locked on bed. He just scurried it off. Come on, I'll put it right back where you want it. Right there, buddy. Come on. Now the wind's gonna make it to where I can't see. Okay. There's bass in here. Hopefully there's some big ones. It is so windy. Going back to the moving bait. Going back to the chatter donk. We caught a plenty of small fish. I know the small ones are gonna try to tear up this worm no matter where we go. Don't get me wrong, get to catch big ones, but if I really want to cover water, hit a bunch of different places and just figure out where these big fish are, I just really feel like this chatter donk is our best bet. Oh my goodness, that's a freaking monster, guys. Oh my god. I'm over here seeing bass about this big thinking man there ain't nothing in here roll up on like a seven pounder just i don't know what he was oh my god guys dude this thing is huge guys there's no way this bass is on bed right hold up where did he go guys this thing is a freaking freak i mean a freak and I wish I was paying attention because I probably could have caught him before walking up on him. I mean, he was just sitting here, which is crazy to me. I wonder if he's like the king of the castle. Like, do you think he's the king of the pond or do you think that there's another bass in here that the competition with him are even bigger? I don't know. I want to say there's probably a lot of good fish in here, but it's just hard to tell, man. Guys, I think I need to put on that Texas rig. Something's telling me I need to put on that Texas rig. Oh my God. What is that thing, dude? He's 
Not freaking easy. What is that? That's not a tilapia, is it? He just slammed. Bro, what in the mess is that thing? It's, it's striped, guys. It's on freaking bed. It has to be a tilapia, but he looks so weird, and he's actually trying to eat me. <laughs> bro, what is that? Look how aggressive he is, bro. Gosh. <laughs> what is this thing? a dang zebra bass boy sucker is crazy <laughs> bro i wish you guys could see what's happening bro this this zebra bass right here i mean dude i put my bait in there and this son of a gun dives over it like a freaking shark oh, dog I, I gotta get this on film somehow i wish i had somebody with me Bro, I like gotta catch this thing just to show you all the zebra bass, dude. It's the most aggressive thing I've ever seen. Oh, he's gonna frick, he's gonna eat this thing. I don't even know how to get this sucker off the hook, but we gonna figure it out today. Never seen nothing like this, guys. Yo, I just freaking <laughs> Why is it you you look so much different in the water buddy? It is a tilapia. You were the most aggressive fish I have ever caught probably like I'm impressed by you I'm so impressed like that was more fun than a catching a bass on bed. That was insane Got one looking at me All right, he's laying right where you go to sleep, buddy Oh, I know it's tempting. Uh-oh. Yeah, you see that little wiggle wiggle action? Yeah, come on now. You can do it. Listen, it don't bite. It just takes one second. I thought I was going to get him. To be honest, I want to find another zebra bass. That was the most aggressive dang thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, y'all, I think we're going to go to a new spot. It was cool to see some big fish today but i just don't think we're gonna have an opportunity of those maybe we can catch them some other time but today i just don't think it's gonna happen we need to go to a new spot and see if we can find some different fish all right y'all we're at a new little place oh my god that's a better one no, it's not. It's still a freaking small one. I was to say, finally got one that's like a pound and a half, two pounds, but no. Hey, I'm just glad we got a fish right there. He freaking hammered it. Right there on the edge of this grass. I'm like trying to figure out this place. I'm just like looking in the water. It's very interesting. But that's our first bass in this pond. Very interesting place. It looks really good though. But I can tell you like some of the best places to fish I can't really get to. But yeah, I'm not throwing way up on the bank because there's like a bunch of grass, but it has a slight drop off when you go about five, ten foot off the bank. And that's exactly where I got that fish to bite. And I want to see that's a bed right there. So that kind of keyed me to think I'm like about five foot off the bank. You know, there might be some beds and bass sitting in that grass right there. So let's see if we can find some more. I don't know if that was just a lucky little cast right there, but that was my first like real cast on this bank. That's a better one. Let's go. Okay. He ate it as I was reeling it, guys. <laughs> Look at that one. Okay, not a big one, but that is better than what we've been catching. That's freaking sweet. I'm actually standing on top of this stump right here. I was like starting to see in the water and <laughs> got him to bite it as I was reeling it in. That's pretty cool. Right above that grass, I was just taking it with that worm. Maybe that's a good way to catch him today. I was thinking about putting on that chatter donk, but. I don't know. I might just stick to that worm. They're eating it. All right, y'all. It is the next day. And we're going to see if we can catch some fish. I actually just pulled off at a random spot. I've never even fished in this area before. So I guess we're going to 
We're going to find out. I don't know if there's any fish in here. I don't know anything about this place. We're actually going to start off with the worm. And just kind of cover some water with it. And work it real thoroughly. Might need to put on the chatter dunk. Not going to lie. But for right now, since I already have it tied on, I'm going to throw it for a second. See if we can get some bites on it. And uh, if we need to tie on the chatter dunk, then that's what we'll do. There's actually some bass beds right here. I see them down this bank. I might want to put on that chatter donk because it is a little flat on this bank. If I was seeing some fish pulled up super shallow, it'd probably be a good bet for me to throw this worm, but I might need to tie on that chatter donk. But we'll see. Let's throw it around for a second. I think I'm going to do it sooner than later. It's just uh, something's telling me I need to put this on and cover some water how this bank's flat don't see no fish pushed up shallow i don't really want to randomly throw this worm out there in the middle i don't know anything about this place i don't know how it lays out I'd like to really fill that bottom with this chatter donk and figure out how i can cover water in here and figure out the best way to like turn these fish on and start eating Not a bad one. <laughs> Let's go, guys. He's not fighting at all. Yeah, he ain't big. But I'll take him. Little guy that ate a chatter donk. All right, we're just going to release you like that, buddy. <laughs> there he goes. All right, not a big one, but we caught something. There's definitely some fish in here, guys. I just don't think they're that big. Feel this cast right here. Oh. Right as I said that, I'd say it looked pretty dang good. I might bite it again, I didn't even stick him. Oh, yeah. That's a better one. Let's go, dude. Yes. Yes, baby. Look at that right there. Mm-hmm. Not a big one, but a two-pounder. I'll take them. Took you two times, buddy, but you ate it. But you ate it. You've been caught before, too. I see a little hook mark in your mouth. Look at that and the edge of his mouth. You've been caught a few times. Pretty little fish right here. Not a big one by any means, but <laughs> hey, man, that's not a bad one. I do not mind starting off the day with something like this. I mean, technically they're our second fish, but nice. Definitely probably the biggest one for today's video. That right there just gave me confidence that there's a lot bigger fish in this pond. He was a little skinny, you could tell. But I'll tell you, there's 100% some bigger fish in this pond. Would not surprise me if we caught a four or five pounder. There's a little metal drain like that. No, there's one up here. He ate it right away. That's pretty crazy. I clicked my dang reel. He's already on there, guys. He is not big, but that was pretty crazy. I go to where I couldn't get these dang things to eat it. To where he choked it like that, and I didn't even reel it. That's a... Uh, that's pretty crazy, and he's not even big. He's freaking tiny. Thank you, bud. You go through a lot of those when you're trying to find these places, guys. You hit you hit random spots. You, you know, it's bound to happen when you're catching a lot of smaller guys. That's just how it is. That's not a bad one. Yeah, these fish got a big mouth, skinny body. But look how skinny this fish is, guys. These fish aren't too healthy in here. You see how big his mouth is and how skinny that body is? Yeah, they're not too healthy. Especially when you're in springtime right here. I mean, he could be spawned out. But All right, boys, this pond does not have much potential. I'm glad that we caught what we did out of these two. But we're going to go ahead and hit another spot. <gasps> Holy Nikes. 
freaking mega grass carp. I was just hoping he would eat it. <laughs> hey, listen, I know carp don't eat baits like this, but I'm telling you, I flip in front of their nose every dang time just in case he's like, you know what? Today I'm going to eat me a chatterbait. <laughs> I just always do that. I don't know why. There we go. All right, he's not that big, but he's a good one. Oh my goodness. That was my fault. I should've just got him on the bank. He's right on the seawall. I mean, he wasn't big, but he wasn't a bad fish. He was definitely, has been the biggest fish that we caught this episode. was a freaking like 10 pounder and a freaking two pounder on bed right there oh my goodness dude that bass i thought it was a freaking carp what oh my gosh guys I, there might have been three fish right there i don't know that one was so big dude are you freaking kidding me boys boys those boils right there that ain't no two three four pound bass okay <laughs> and the crazy part is there's 10 pounders in here you know why i fish these ponds a lot i'm right in front of his nose dude i thought he just ate me gosh that's a big fish boys oh my goodness what happened he just slammed it in the freaking what is going on he literally swam back after i think there's more there's so many fish i just saw two on two different beds right there but then i think that one is just ate me is a different one i actually see one right here i'm gonna catch he's only about two pounds i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna snack him up real quick I cannot believe this we found some bigs on bed right now oh there's a big one in the distance too i don't want to catch him first though gosh that's a freaking that might dude that's the one i might just need to go for it yeah we're gonna go for it One of them's gotta eat it, right? So he's just playing with it? All right, we're gonna come. That's a small one. It's a male. I mean, it's a two pounder, freaking fat as can be. Oh my goodness. You are such a good fish. Look at that, that is a healthy freaking stud right there. Thank you for biting, buddy. I'm gonna get you right back in the water. Don't, you better go tell him to bite. But guys, I hate to do this to y'all. You guys are gonna hate me because we just found these big fish. If I don't stop this video now, it's gonna be 45 minutes long. I will catch you guys on the next episode where we're gonna go after these big fish on bed with this worm right here. And I promise you, we're gonna catch some freaking monsters in this episode. Make sure you guys are subscribed with post notifications on. Hit the like button if you guys enjoyed the video thus far. And I'll catch you guys in the episode where we catch these big ones. I literally see one every bit of eight to 10 pounds right in front of me. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Guys, we got three bass in front of us. One that's about eight pounds, one that's about five, and we have about a three pounder. I'm literally looking at all three of them now. Oh my God, they just boiled like crazy. One just hit me. I got one.